Put your hand on the blue. Put your hand on the square, right? Put your foot, etc. right? Um, hide different things behind them. Uh, my mat is hanging on the wall, so uh, obviously it's going to fall out each time, but if it's lying on the level floor, children can discover what's under each color. What's there under the orange square? What's there under the green heart? Right? And then they can put different things uh, behind or under under the uh, the, uh, the shapes. Uh, flashcards are showing pictures. Each child has a shaker and when they see a specific picture, a picture that you are asking for, uh, they need to make some noise, right? So make some noise when you see a pig, right? And then you must help them, right? Because sometimes it's not so easy for them. So is this a pig? Is this a pig? Really? No, of course not. Hmm, is this a pig? Is this a pig? Hmm, no, 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 it's not. Is this a pig? No, no, no. And then we get to the pig and the children go shaky, shaky, shaky. They make noise, right? And each time they see a picture that is actually uh, right, they make noise. Then you take the same size flashcard and you put it in the pocket which has been created uh in this um in the space between the cardboard and the um, the, the ziplock bag okay so obviously uh you can uh it is very universal and you can uh practice lots of different vocabulary uh with this one uh, obviously you could also put in hair gel or usg gel inside this bag Put in some hair, uh, food dye or um, paint to make it colorful and then children could draw in it. But to be honest, I prefer dry ingredients, dry contents in my sensory bags because they last longer. They are more universal. I can reuse, reuse, reopen, reuse them and put the different uh, things in, inside. So the bag was created uh, for the use of uh, Cinderella fairy tale. And uh, the children were to uh, separate the beans from the ashes right obviously it's not ashes but this is uh groats uh, so they were to put them on the two separate plates um uh, another thing that uh, is not a sensory bag but it works in a similar way is using such <clears throat> such um trays that you can fill with salt and or uh, different uh, ingredients and children will discover what's hiding under it, right? In order to make it uh, more universal, I used very uh, my very favorite double-sided Velcros work. Okay, so the first thing that we can actually do is uh, do the vocabulary presentation, right? Uh, because uh, we can stick different uh, flashcards on Velcro here. Yeah, ask the children to stick them. Yes, yes, Irina, it is like a magic box, exactly, right? Uh, a little bit touched up, maybe. Uh, it has different textures. Now, I teach the children to touch something bumpy, bumpy, bumpy shiny right shiny uh something uh, fluffy and soft right uh here is something whoa, here is something scratchy they can scratch and i must tell you that it is really uh very very good for uh, attention grasping yeah because children 
can actually uh, concentrate very well uh, when they can touch these things. And now, uh, the best effect that I have is this one. Dum, da, da, dum, da, da, dum. <gasps> Listen, can you hear? What was that? What was that? Can you hear? What was that? Anybody knows? Anybody knows? Was it a pig? Yeah? Hello! Hello, hello! Uh, thread like this, right? You can, uh, you can tie it to one uh, place in the uh, classroom and uh, hold it on the other side and put uh, different colors of tissue paper uh, all, all over the floor and then children need to pick them up right pick, pick up the right color and then they need to uh, hang these on the uh, on the thread right just like they hang up the washing uh, the clothes and uh, then you uh, can create a rainbow simply a rainbow by putting uh, the colors in the right in the right uh, order one by one one by one one next to another yeah uh, all the while singing yes uh, for example, red, 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 pick up red, hang it up, red, 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 blue, 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 pick up blue, hang it up, blue, 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 and so on and so forth. Yes, I, I very often use this melody because when, uh, when I do different activities with uh, my uh, young students, uh, they are actually quite used to this ABC uh, melody and they know that if we are doing something, then we will probably be singing this one. Uh, put on different body parts, right? Put on different uh, pictures, right? Cover the pictures with the children. Um, go to sleep. Uh, after you have washed yourself, you dry yourself, right? Uh, so wash, 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 wash your nose, dry, 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 dry your nose. Um, but also you can use it for making wind. Oh, it's windy. Oh, it's windy. The tissue is flying, right? So uh, it it is quite... Uh, a lot of fun for the toddlers and another far, uh, kind of fun is uh, using their feathers and feathers uh, feathers are uh, one of my favorite props as well because we can tickle tickle your ear one two three and this is really a lot of fun and a lot of laughter while doing it tickle your chin one, two, three, and you can tickle your nose and uh, uh, sneeze as a result of it, right? Yes, yes. Another patent is hide something behind the curtain or say what is the weather like, yes? What do you think? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? <gasps> it's sunny. Obviously, you can change the weather and <coughs> make it a secret bye bye facebook thank you very much have a great sunday